Hey everyone, it's Mike with the Astro Explorers here. And as promised a while back, I said I was going to show you how to do a real simple stack of those images we had taken. So, in order to do so, we're going to do, use two different programs. The first one is going to be Deep Sky Stacker. And the second program is going to be called Serial. So, with these two programs, we're going to stack our image and then we're going to uh, use that stack and improve it a little bit in Serial uh, just for a very basic stack. And then if you want to see a much more in-depth process, you can go ahead and check out this link showing up here. And I will link you to a video that I had done previously. But to get started, what you'll want to do is go ahead and open your images that you took. Now on this one, all we did was take light frames or the images of the photographs that we took of the Orion Nebula. So I'm going to select all of those. I'm going to hit open. And now if I click on one of them, it'll show up the image. Now it's not going to show up with very much detail right now. Um, this isn't stacked. So I'm going to go ahead and start that stack. What we want to do is just check all of these. So we can use check all. Now, normally we would take dark frames, flat frames, and either dark flats, offset or bias, but we're not doing that to, in this case because we didn't do that. But I will have future videos where we do that. Or again, you can check out the previous video that I did back in the day and that'll show you um, the workflow as well so after clicking check all we're going to click on register checked pictures we're going to go ahead and use 95 percent of the pictures we're just going to stick with our recommended settings here like i said we're just going to do this real easy we'll hit ok um, showing that we have a minute and 30 seconds of exposure time. It's not very much when it comes to astrophotography. Again, it's just an example of what it looks like. No offset, no dark, no flat. We'll go ahead and hit OK. And then we'll just wait for this process to go through. So it should only take about a minute, but I'll skip ahead for you. Okay. So you can see the image here. Uh, it's got a little bit more detail showing in here. It has a little bit more stretching um, from the stacked images. What that did was it went ahead and saved a image. It's going to be called autosave001. So we're going to open that in Serial. And that's where we'll do the rest of our stretching. So here in Serial, again, we're just going to stay real basic with this one. We're going to open the image and you'll see that I had one that I had previously done and then here is the autosave 001 and now if we come down here we can choose auto stretch and you can see the Orion Nebula popping out here. So that gives us a good idea of what the Orion Nebula looks like just with a minute and a half exposure on the camera just doing real quick frames. Um, not what you can get out of a good cooled camera, uh, better alignment, but again this isn't that terrible. So we have a little bit of blowing out on our stars but they're pretty round. We don't have too much going on there so it looks pretty nice and in serial you can look at the different wavelengths so we got red green blue and then of course RGB so what we'll do is we want to come up to our image processing we're just going to do color calibration to try to get more of those true colors from Orion we're going to choose photometric color calibration We'll search for M42. There it is. We've got our focal length, 
the pixel size and we're going to hit OK. And what it should do is find the stars, uh, verify that we are at the Orion Nebula, and then uh, give us that information and color calibrate it based on what we're seeing. And there we go. So that was very quick. We'll go ahead and close this. And now you can see Orion Nebula. We've removed a lot of that orange that was showing up. And if we go back to linear view, you can see we don't see anything. Go to auto stretch, there it is. So what we'll do is we'll go back to linear view real quick. And we want to make that stretch um, into the image. So we're gonna pull up the histogram transformation. We're gonna choose the apply auto stretch. And you can see our image has the auto stretch again. And then we actually want to apply it. So beforehand, we were just previewing it. But if we had saved the image, it would have shown us it in the linear view. But now we're going to apply it. And here you can see that it's been applied. And one of the things you can do is you can kind of adjust if you feel some of the areas are too dark or too bright. I think this is looking just fine at the moment for what we have. We're going to close that. And then we can go ahead and just do maybe a remove green, uh, remove green noise. It'll take a little bit of green out. We'll close it. And then, of course, you can always use the back and forward number uh, buttons here. So back, you can see that green. Forward, that green's gone. And then maybe what we'll do is add a little bit of saturation, see if it'll pull in any of that color. And we're getting a little bit. Maybe if we... Yeah. So if we go too much, then we start coloring the background, and you can see the red and the hot pixels start coming through. So we'll just reset that, and then maybe add a little bit of color. And there is a very basic image of the Orion Nebula. Not too much work in, went into this. Um, if we had more data, we'd be able to pull in some more of those dust clouds here. You can see a little bit of the outline coming through here. If we went, I stretched it again. You can see it kind of starts pulling in a little bit more of that information. It starts blowing out the core a little bit. So you can kind of go in, play with it yourself a little bit. So that's under the histogram. Maybe we do that, apply it again, close. And now you can see some of that vignetting coming in. So we might be able to do a background extraction just to see if we can get rid of some of that vignetting. Let's check. This doesn't always work very well, but it's worth a try. So we can just look at our before or after and you can see how the background extract went and flattened the image and we're getting a little bit more color here a little bit more normal and sometimes you just go through the process a couple times see what you like so I'm going to go ahead and calibrate it again color calibrate it again just to adjust those colors and now this time that's just getting really washed out. So you can see that's not something I want to do. It just looks like it's washing out that image a little bit too much. So maybe we'll just try stretching one more time, see what happens. Apply. That's not looking too bad here. Although you can see we're starting to get a lot of the pixels showing. So maybe we'll just leave that off. Play with the color saturation a little bit more. 
yeah, I can get a little bit of the color there. And maybe just remove some of that green noise one more time. There we go. So green noise is gone. And then what I might do, let's take this into Photoshop. Just make our blacks a little bit more true black. And that'll help make this pop a little bit more. You might also be able to just do that here in the histogram by pulling in your blacks. So you can see how, yeah, just like that. So we're pulling in the blacks. We're getting more of that color of space. We'll leave that there, close it. So you can see the core of Orion Nebula. You can see a little bit of those dust clouds coming through. They're not great, but again, this is only a minute and a half exposure. And typically you'll be running multiple exposures of 30 seconds, getting a hundred of those, stacking them. But this was a minute and a half exposure. So for a minute and a half, on a 12 year old DSLR with very basic tracking. This is pretty good. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you want to see stacking with darks, flat frames, and a much more in depth video, I'll have a link to that. I'll also have a link to the um, Deep Sky Stacker download as well as the serial download. And if y'all have any questions, just please leave them in the comment section below. Uh, please like, subscribe, and again, once the clouds clear, we've had clouds for two months now, I'll get back out there and start making some more video tutorials for you guys. And in the meantime, I hope you all have better clear skies than I'm having. Y'all take care.